Okay, so I'm in the condo in, in Florida, and it uh, looks like another hurricane is approaching, so I'm going to leave early. My plan is to stop at rest stops and and try to get some walking in just for um just for exercise and uh because I know it's good for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get moving now and try to get out of here before the hurricane. Once I got on the road I realized I really just wanted to get home as fast as I could, so I decided to skip the sightseeing and I also didn't stop to walk like I had planned. I made it through Florida, Georgia, into, well, Tennessee is one of the most beautiful states. Good morning. I'm at a truck stop in Kentucky. I was so exhausted last night that I didn't even take, <laughs> I didn't even change my clothes. I just crawled in the back. I put my window covers up. I was out. I woke up one time around midnight, I think, and drank some water and I didn't start with my blanket or my sleeping bag, but I pulled the sleeping bag out, covered up and fell right back asleep pretty good night at the truck stop. I am tempted to try to drive all the way home today, but I know I should take it easy and and then one more night in the van and then I should be home. I don't know if you can hear the truckers out there. I think it's like 5.30, which is pretty late for me. <laughs> I'm an early riser. I usually am up like I don't know, three or four is usually my wake time. All right, I better get moving. It's gonna be light soon. You know, I have that Sirius XM radio and so I was able to listen to the hurricane information. Um, they put on an extra channel, I think just for this, for so people can stay on top of what's happening. I think I drove nine hours, nine, no, probably closer to 10 hours. I don't know how much I'm gonna really care about getting ready. I know I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drive. I could take off any time until it starts getting light out. I slept so good last night. I woke up completely puffy and swollen and um, I just slept so hard. So I didn't even bother with makeup this morning. I just uh, put a bunch of cream on my face and cleaned up and I'm on the road. Well, I'm I think about five hours from home. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna I'm just not really sure if I'm gonna stop or not or just keep driving and try to get home. If it if it seems like it's gonna be a little stressful driving at night in the dark, then I'll probably stop but so far, I feel pretty good, and I kind of feel like I could drive five hours, <laughs> five more hours, and I would be fine. After my overnight in Kentucky at the truck stop, I did drive straight through to get home so I could sleep in my own bed. Made it through Kentucky, Missouri, Kansas, and home. I listened to hurricane news, audiobooks, talk radio, and music. The next morning, I got up early, hit the ground running, cleaned out the van, just getting ready for our next adventure. Join me.